This is a Seagate expansion drive, uh, eight terabytes. Um, it's just a label I put on there. As of October 2017, I think this is the most recent model. Um, so I'm going to show you how to open this up and take the SATA drive out, which you can then just install as a typical internal drive. Um, and all you need is a some kind of sturdy knife. Using a Swiss Army knife here, and I think I might try to use the pick this time. Um, and I think you might need one of those um, Max style um, star screwdrivers, but we'll find out about that later. So basically, all you do is you go along the edges of yeah and this pick is not going to be thick enough um, you go along be careful not to cut your hand because you're going to have to kind of wiggle and dig a little bit. Uh, make sure your knife's the, one of the one of the kinds that locks when uh, when the blade's out. Almost had that get me a few times. What you want to do, and it's easier if you have fingernails, is get up underneath. I'll do it this way so it's easier for you to see. Um, get up underneath one of these corners. Like that, see that right there, right where the right, right, right where this piece of plastic meets the top. And now, I'm gonna kind of just work my way down. And there's just these little plastic. Oh, and, if you, and even if you lose it, once you get that first one, it'll be pretty easy to get in after that, because. you've already broken at least one of the little plastic attachment pieces that you, they use. Um, and there are other models that use, you know, much stronger plastic, but these things are really pretty weak. So, I mean, you can tell once I apply any force, just kind of pushing this outward, you can hear a snap and that's just one of those pieces breaking. And so now I'm going to take it along the other side, the long side, and pretty soon we're going to get to the point where we can just peel this, the rest of this side off. And At this point, you know, we've broken most or all. There we go, see? So. Sorry, I had a microphone snafu there. So the corner has come out. And from here, you can pretty much peel the rest. That was a little bit faster than I wanted it to be, but uh, success. And you can see, if you look up close, basically it's just these little plastic loops and uh, you're just snapping them one at a time at first, and then eventually you get them all. Um, and so now we've got our drive. And you'll notice that this looks like a controller. This part with uh, 
more metal. So you'd see around here, it looks like the controller, but the controller is actually this thing underneath it, the green part. Um, what's on here above is the adapter that you know hooks up both to the power and the data etc and then converts it to USB and um, AC power and they were one of their last little tricks or um, let's say attempts at obfuscation is they put some plastic or adhesive or something over this but you can be careful just to make sure you know they don't get caught that either the the power adapter or the data adapter don't get caught in the chassis as you're pulling it out you can pretty much just pull it out and you'll notice that just, they just have bumpers on side screws. So these really were just, you know, quickly designed to convert just regular three and a half inch spinning disk hard drives into. Um, external hard drives and now there's only been so I only had to remove that one screw and I can now pull this off you can see how it was attached to the SATA power in it and uh, data right here uh, has a little bit of a logic board and then um, Oh yeah, so, and then there's the USB and the AC adapters that were exposed on the outside. So at this point, I mean, we have a fully functional hard drive. And the nice thing, I mean, aside from the fact that that took like five minutes and wasn't very stressful at all, the nice thing about this in particular is that it gives you this no, no. another microphone snafu. Uh, the nice thing about this model in particular is that it gives you this nice little box. Or I mean, you have to break off all these little uh, plastic hooks, so I won't show you that process. But you actually get a pretty good-looking little storage box out of it. You know, this is just a piece of Gorilla tape across one side and back. And it's a pretty nice box. So I actually use these to keep uh, all my extra little components and um, anti-static bags inside of those. So uh, this is my first attempt at a YouTube video in about eight years. Hopefully you got something out of it. And thanks for watching.